Well, good morning. It's Randy T Bird here. Had a bit of a scare this morning. I had my camera fast enough. I took off, and next thing I know, my camera's pointing at the ground, and I'm somehow did not tighten up the screw very much. And I'm probably very fortunate I did not lose my $400 camera. That would have been a real tragedy. But uh, I got stopped and turned it back on. So I had a little bit of wasted footage, but that's okay. I didn't lose my camera. That's nice. I don't know what it is. It's probably a KTM. Anyway, I digress. Out for a ride. Sunday. The weather's supposed to change here later today. So I'm getting in a little, little time before the weather goes south. Or sour or whatever you wanted to call it. Alright people, let's go. Anyway. Pretty nice right now. Little clouds in the sky. It's, again, supposed to thicken up tonight. and supposed to be an 80% chance of rain tomorrow. But you know, that's alright. I'll be back at work so it can rain all day if it wants. It's the way I kind of feel about rain. It can rain all week. Uh, better not rain on my weekend. In Arizona, we don't get that much rain anyway, so I shouldn't complain too much. Nope, visor down. I don't know if you all have been following uh, Harley Davidson like most of us Harley guys do. Um, they put out a couple new bikes this uh, this week. Uh, I don't know, they're really new. Uh, there was a CVO Road Glide, which they said they weren't going to do, and now they're going to do. And I've seen a couple videos on them. And they're pretty cool. I don't know that they're $45,000 cool, but pretty nice. And an anniversary Fat Boy, which is all blacked out, which i got to tell you, uh, it makes that bike look a lot better. I'm still not a big fan of that uh, 240 rear tire uh, But uh, Blacked out that bike looks really good and uh, They might settle it. There's a third one. I'm just I can't think I can't remember what that is um, Oh, yeah, there's a custom style paint on a uh, street glide It's got kind of a goldish color with an eagle on it and graphics on it which is pretty cool. I, I, I actually like that paint. I, I, I would never buy one, but uh, you know, I can appreciate the color and some people will like them. I'm just more of a black, dark colored bike myself, person myself. But at any rate, another day, another Sunday, and the sports world is changing. Super Bowl's over. Uh, if you guys watch that game, uh, if you're a 49ers fan, well, I feel for you. Yeah, but you got to admit, Kansas City played a hell of a game. Uh, coming back, it looked like they were choking, but they stormed right back and uh, could not be stopped. So, ended up being a pretty good game, even though I'm not really a supporter of either either team. Uh, it was an entertaining game to watch for once. That uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to baseball myself. Another week, uh, pitchers and catchers report out here to Arizona and and in Florida for spring training, and uh, that should be interesting. I might take a day off or two uh, this month. I got a ton of vacation time that I never seem to be able to get to take, uh, and go catch a game in the afternoon, sit in the sun, and and uh, yeah, drink an overpriced beer and whatever. I'm hoping I don't sneeze in the middle of this video. It's out. It's it's high allergy season out here in Arizona, and I've been feeling it this year. So if I sneeze, I'll try to edit it out. Uh, my editing skills remain iffy at best, but I try my best. I uh, was looking into recording at 4K, but it makes the file size incredibly large, and it takes me already takes me eight to eight to ten hours to upload it. 12 or 14 minute video anyway so I don't think I want to do a 24 hour upload you know uh, but you never know uh, I'm told that uh, there are some places in town with super fast upload speed uh, I haven't tried it yet and uh, haul my computer and all that other stuff around uh, it's just much easier to uh, go about my life at home once I'm uploading the video during the day and hope that uh, we don't have a power failure or something like that it's a nice truck. 
Dodge Ram Rebel 4x4. A buddy of mine just bought one of those. Uh, it's like 50 grand. Wow. It's a lot of money for a vehicle. But if I had the money, I'd probably spend it. I wouldn't mind having a Ford Raptor myself. But, uh, my lottery numbers did not hit again this time. Um, I'm about thinking about complaining to the Lottery Commission because... Uh, you know, I mean, I've been playing it forever, and uh, I haven't won yet, and I think I'm due. Uh, I, I think you know, some of you all would agree with that, but I think you probably think that you should win. Well, I'd be happy to split it with you if you win. So if you win, give me a drop me a line, and I'll and I'll meet up with you somewhere. You know, I'll even buy lunch. <laughs> anyway, it's supposed to be 70 today. Uh, I don't think it's going to make it. It's been pretty chilly and it's a little breezy. With these clouds coming in, I don't think it's going to make it. But that's okay. Earlier in the week, it was uh, pretty chilly. It was uh, we had temperatures in the 30s at night, even 20s one night in town. For Arizona, that's downright Arctic for us. Still thinking about plans for the bike. I, I've done a few things. I put some black uh, trim rings on the uh, the headlight and the uh, uh, the, the uh, spotlights on the front, and kind of like that minimizes things a little bit. I dug an old uh, lay down license plate frame out of my extra parts, and put that on. Uh, that was an ordeal. Um, you can barely get your hands up in there. And uh, I don't know if any of you guys that are older know how thin your skin gets. And uh, so within three minutes of starting, I already was having blood dripping off my elbow. Had to have my wife wrap my arm up with gauze. So, but I got that on there and it looks pretty good. Uh, I've been thinking about things that I want to do to the bike. And uh, I mean, that to me, that's the joy of owning them is being able to make them your own, doing different things. And, uh, but I haven't decided completely. I would like to have a shorter windshield, but I haven't found anybody that makes one yet. So I did see an interesting uh, company, I think it's called Reckless Cycles, that builds a uh, batwing fairing for these. Now, that sounds to me like an interesting idea. I like the batwing fairings. Uh, when I have my uh, Road King, I put a Memphis Shades fairing batwing on it, and it, it really changed the bike. And, uh, uh, they're detachable so you can come and go as you need but uh, Memphis Shades does not make one for this model however it's possible that a Road Warrior fairing for the uh, uh, Slim might work I don't know I'm gonna have to make some measurements but I had that on my Slim and it really made a huge difference in the way the bike uh, went down the road uh, as far as wind protection goes uh, uh, I'm gonna have to talk to that. I've been I've been bugging Memphis Shades and uh, and uh, so far they uh, have not agreed to make one. But I told them I'd be happy to beta test it. So if you're listening, uh, Memphis Shades, the offer is still out there. You know, uh, hell, I'll even pay for it. I'm not asking for nothing free. I'm not like some of the other uh, some of the other uh, whores out there on in on, uh, in YouTube that are uh, getting all this freebies. Speaking of money and stuff, I was watching a video the other day of a guy that, uh, and I can't recall the name of it, but he did something about cars. And uh, this guy's talking about making $53,000 off of a single video. And I'm like, wow. You know, that guy's got a lot of followers, you know, but he had like 17 million views of this uh, thing. Now I'm still about, oh, I figure at current rate of subscribers and views. I'm still about 100 years away from being able to monetize. But you know, that's not really the reason that I got into this. I just like to share my world here, my views of this world. Uh, uh, and uh, but, but you know, it'd be nice to get a check for $8.25 or something a month. You know, it'd be nice to buy myself, buy myself some fast food lunch. But uh, hey, you got friends. Uh, you know, you like my videos and stuff, and, uh, you know, turn your friends on to it. Uh, refer them. Tell them, you know, and again, I'm open to different things. Uh, 
as soon as the summer uh, starts coming, I mean the spring starts coming around, I'm gonna gotta get out a little farther from where I've been going. I do a couple. I'm gonna do some overnight trips, and and I'm planning on making a trip up into uh, southwestern Colorado this summer. So uh, I'm gonna take a bunch of clips uh, that way when I go, and hopefully those will turn out nice. Uh, I really love the desert, but I love the mountains too. So getting up in the pine trees is pretty cool. Uh, might even uh, might even camp a night or two. You know, I don't know. I probably won't. It's kind of hard on me sleeping on the ground these days. So if I can talk my wife following me in a in a vehicle, we can we can do that. But uh, yeah, Colorado is beautiful. I'd still like to get up into the northwest one of these days. Uh, Northern California, if it hasn't all burned down. Uh, the fires have been awful in the last couple of years. Anyway. Just cruising up the foothills here. Let me stop it for gas here before too much longer. You guys that are riding the Heritage Softtails, uh, I have a comment and sharing me some of the mods. Uh, I did get a couple of subscribers last week and they're uh, talking about exhausts and stuff and seats and uh, uh, I've looked at the Mustang seats, those seem kind of interesting. Uh, also uh, Vance and Hines pipes. I, I, Vance and Hines pipes right out of the crate to me are a little bit too loud for my personal tastes. But uh, I know you can get quiet baffles. It's just that if you've had the slash cut three inch Vance on Heinz muff mufflers and have ever put the quiet baffles in, um, you better plan for an afternoon. That is quite an ordeal, uh, especially if they've been run before. Uh, they do tend to stick in there. And then they give you the, the wrapping on the uh, baffles, on the quiet baffles, is larger the diameter ends up being larger than the pipes itself and so getting them in there is is insane what I end up doing is unwrapping about the first 12 inches first 12 inches of the uh, uh, fiberglass uh, uh, packing and then just taping them up with plastic packing tape uh, then I can get them back in there and it always seems like one pipe is just slightly smaller than the other so one, one baffle goes in really easy, and one of them is a massive struggle where I'm using hammers and, and drifts and everything, trying to get it in there without destroying everything. But maybe if I get them brand new and then buy the baffles brand new, it, uh, it'll come out without a lot of drama. Uh, when I say one was harder than the other, it was always the last one that was the hardest. It's never the, never the first one. So anyway, I've learned those over the years. I do like the sound of them with that uh, previously, uh, the one I just described of uh, unwrapping part of the the packing. They do sound pretty good. They still have a good Vance and Hines sound, just not as raspy and you don't get all of that poppity pop 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 at the uh, back of it. Well, I'm coming up to my gas stop here. It's Randy T-Bird like what you see please subscribe I appreciate it uh, three new subscribers last week four new subscribers last week thank you very much uh, I appreciate you uh, your watches and uh, if you're if you're that that gentleman that's back east uh, lamenting the weather hey it, it's gonna get better you know and when it does you'll be riding in nice temperatures while I'm complaining about the heat so you know looking forward to it man Randy T-Bird signing off